We welcome in our colleague, Buck Showalter, right now. And, Buck, on Friday night, post-game, Aaron Boone decided to have a team meeting, talk to his players, maybe aired them out a little bit, according to a few of them. Do team meetings work? Is, is it a timing thing with managers to pick the right spot to try and motivate your team? Yeah, you, you know, the last thing is you don't want to be Captain Obvious. Believe me, the players know uh, why they haven't won more games. Uh, but you also, as a leader, want to define reality. That's basically what leadership is. And I found that uh, through the years that the, the best meetings, uh, there's a lot of input from the players, you know, like, you know, defining who you want to be and how you're going to go about it. And there's not an instant return. I found very few meetings that you got an instant return from. You know, sometimes they're emotional, sometimes they're not, sometimes they're matter-of-factly. But believe me, th those players in that clubhouse know they're struggling. But sometimes, uh, you know, the sense of urgency that a meeting creates can be good. To your point, Buck, the Yankees are actually 0-2 since Aaron Boone had that meeting. But speaking of struggling, the offense was supposed to be so vital and so powerful for the Yankees this season. But you look at their offensive numbers so far this season, and they're at the bottom of the list in the American League in a lot of categories. What have you seen from their at-bats? Well, I, I think you, you see from the lineup tonight what Aaron's hoping to get back to and trying to get more of a baseball player mentality. It's kind of a, when they were so good and capable of being again, they were a passive baton group. Okay, I'm going to grind every pitch, every at bat, and not worry about the results and what the end game is. Usually the end game is in your favor. I, I think, you know, instead of trying to, to, to hit a four-run home run the first at bat, just be a baseball player. You know, play the game. You get a pitch to hit, hit it, you don't take it, move it to the next guy. When I get to first base via walk and error, a hit, now I'm going to be a base runner and impact the game. And when that's over, I'm going to go on the field and I'm going to be as good a defender as I can be. Just be a baseball player for three hours and be surprised the return you'll get from that. It's, it, I think simplifying the game, what's going on with them right now is nothing that somebody analytically can come down and go, here's what you need to start doing. They know that they're getting fed a steady diet of breaking balls as much as anybody in baseball. And it, it falls underneath the, really? You don't think I don't know that?